Welcome back. Allow me to say right now, up front, if I am less than entertaining at the moment, it's because I'm in an extremely bad mood. Over the last week, since Friday, last Friday, I've spent £30 on my, on my central heating. See, I have a gas meter and I have an electricity meter and I have put £30. You've got two problems and we're working on borrowed time here. On the gas. First, there's no fuel in the engine. Second, the gravity centrifuge is offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling there it are. down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Is Refuel singular. the main engine and fire oh, it up cool. so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. So I put, first of all, on the Friday, just gone. Not today, that's last week. I put £20 on there. Now normally, I spend £15 a fortnight, and that does me everything. Personal log. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. <clears throat> it's been two days since they pulled that planet open, since my captain died. The panic, the riots, they were nothing compared with what came after. Our friends, our co-workers, started coming back. Changed, coming back to kill us, drag us away. Rucker disappeared this morning, and I have to assume he's dead. My crew, they're starting to crack. I'm trying to keep an eye on them, but right now I have bigger problems. We're hemorrhaging fuel, and the primary engine is laboring. Danvers and I are going to try to reach the fuel depot to see if we can fix it. Temple out. But this time, I put the 20 pounds on, as usual. And... By the... Um, before lunchtime on Monday, it had run out. 20 pounds in three days. What the hell days. is going on here? Danvers, he's Henderson, he's crazy. During Pulling the winter. his own teeth out. Henderson, for God's sake. No. That was frustrating. Oh, God. Is he dead? Relax. He's <clears> alive. But he hit that door pretty hard. Man, why would he do again. something like that? I don't get it. The blank. He's still having trouble with them. Now, um, yeah, that was frustrating. Okay? Because in their infinite wisdom, by the way, I missed that. In their infinite wisdom, my electricity provider decided that for my benefit, they charge me £8 a week. On top of the £1.60 charge for having the, uh, the meter in the first place, they, charge, they decided they charge me £8 a week so that I can pay back my debt faster. <clears throat> okay benefit of the doubt. So yesterday, I put another £10 on there. I figured, I've already paid the bill for this month. I can just put some money on there. £10 should be more than enough because I usually only actually spend about £3 per week on my central heating. Because I don't use my central heating. The only thing I actually use it for is for the hot water to, to bathe and to, to make my pots and things. So you know, it should be fine. An hour ago, that ran out as well, in less than 24 hours, because this greedy little, they charged me again the money they owe me. So that's £30 in four days in winter. So I am not a happy bunny, as evidenced by the fact that I've spent the majority of my time this far telling you how frustrated I am. So I do apologise for that, and I greatly appreciate you putting up with my with my little rant here because it's something that is really, really funny. I'm not just oh. <sighs> oh, no, I haven't signed out of Steam again. I never do. I figure it. No, I, I, I have Steam. I have a life to be carrying on with. I keep it logged in, you know, just maybe somebody comes along who actually has something important that they need to say to, uh, to me right now. Now, um, yeah, I'm not actually, well, not that I'm not supposed to 
not so much that I can't, but there's no no real reason for me to go back here yet, because I haven't come what I was doing down there. So, story-wise, there's no reason for me to do it. However, as you'll see in a moment, there is a reason for me to personal speaking. I do have a reason, and I'll tell you what that is. take a lot of killing, don't we? But, um... Hey! Thank you! Although that really took a hell of a lot of punishment. So I usually actually... See the guy that was there? Yeah, it, it converted him. Now, I, what I usually do is um, kill, bash that guy to pieces first so I only have that to deal with. But, as you saw, after I killed that, it dropped some wine racks. Speaking of which, <coughs> wondering why I'm not using the wine gun anymore. <coughs> now you're about to find out, for any, anybody who is paying attention... By the way, if anybody can tell me what the hell that is... I really have no idea. I think maybe there used to be a door there, and the implication is that the door's broken? Possibly? But it's one of those things that's always puzzled me. I've never quite been able to figure out what it is. And the first time I played this, I actually used the flamethrower from the bought the flamethrower from the store back there as I was coming through, and used it there. And I half remember it exploding or something, like it was some kind of gas mine. But it hasn't ever done it since. So, hmm, I was probably just on crack. Anyway. That's why I wasn't using the line gun, and that's why I came back this way. Also, if you notice, this one has extra width. Remember, I once said that once it's leveled up, yeah, well, the, the mine, that's the secondary fire. The width, that's actually the, um, makes the beam wider. <clears throat> so not only can you make it do more damage, but you can actually see how it's spreading apart so much more now. You can actually make it cover a wide area, like I said, it's a, it's a room sweeper, it really is. Um, it gives you more options than the plasma cutter does. Plasma cutter is a damn nice weapon, though. It's actually extremely underrated by some people who want big, really strong, powerful guns. People who aren't morons, or anybody who actually plays the game properly, you know. Plasma Cutter is a good weapon. Uh, the line is so much better. It is my favorite. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that as well. It actually tells you what you need to do. It doesn't feel like... Oh wait. <laughs> and it's not one of those where it feels like it's molly cuddling. At least it doesn't to me. It actually just feels like, you know, well, you're on a ship. It would say that. <clears throat> this is one of those um, one of those occasions where the mist is used the right way instead of it being too much instead of it being just to reduce the graphical bar of the game it's actually used on the it's actually used to make the game more God, this game has that massive oh, I know you ain't dead. And finally, I'm starting to get some health. Oh, I'm actually going to use that other single that I have. Yes, now we're, now we're starting to make some progress. Dum de dum. Yeah, anybody watching, you may notice, um... I always turn left because I always turn left. Shut it, Danvers. Shut it. Engineering log. Temple reporting. Someone has shut off the fuel lines to the primary engine and damaged the valves in the process. They need to be repaired before I can reopen them, but we're running out of time. With the engine offline, orbit decay will begin in less than 10 hours. I just can't understand who would do this. If it's one of those crazy unitologist bastards, I'll break their neck. They were coming. We never should have let him live. Shut up, Danvers! 
Help me with the tools. Temple out. Yeah, it's just the way I like to do it. I found that I always turn left. It's very logical, very methodical. It follows the set route. And I make sure that I cover everything that way. Ripper. Oh, the Ripper is a nice weapon. Not my favourite. Refueling sequence activated. If you don't know what my favourite is by now, then you really haven't been paying attention. But Whatever you did, one. it's working, Isaac. I have a fuel reading. It's only a quarter full, but that's enough to restore orbit once you bring the engines online. What the hell? Oh, false alarm. Oh, I saw something. Ah! Where'd that come from? Get that out of nowhere. Dead now. Mm, didn't take all that much damage. Have it. Yeah, mines are a great way to deal with them, by the way. Although, didn't do anything to that one. So. That's, well, the line gun in general is a great way to deal with them because it's wide enough, even at its default, to um, take out all their tentacles like it just did. <clears throat> also, if you use the mines, because if you, by the way, when dealing with them, you might have noticed that I tend to do that a lot. It's because of those, those tentacle things, they fire these little bullet things. You've probably seen them a couple of times already. Um, I've just found that slow, uh, that stepping side to side, a little bit like that, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't do it too much because they will counteract, but if you, if you just like, you fire a shot, then you move a little bit, then you fire a shot, move a bit more, go back and forth like that, makes it, makes it more difficult to hit. But yeah, the, um, the line gun is a great weapon to deal with them because it can, um, Because the, the mines will tear them to shreds, although it didn't work that second time. It doesn't sometimes. Hit detection can be a little bit off. Or the uh, even at its default, the, uh, the the width of the, the beam is wide enough to take all three of their tentacles at once. Right, now is the time to get out here. Not through there yet, obviously, because the door's closed. This time, I'm going to make a quick stop here. Just to add the ripper, I'll probably pick that up at some point and show you. Towards the end, I'll, um, yeah, I'll have a quick run through all of the different weapons just to show you how they all work. And I know I don't have a great amount of health, and I said I wouldn't be too cocky, and I'm not. Believe me, I'm not. There's a reason I'm buying the power nodes is because, well, powering up your weapons in the long run will be a lot more useful than in the short term buying yourself some health. Plus, there should be some more at the top here. After I reach this. There should be at least one health vial in here somewhere, I hope. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's real useful. Mm. Actually, I know that was a bit. There we go. See, told you there'd be at least one. This is Temple. Now the centrifuge is offline. We've got four trillion tons of rock hanging off our ass, and without that centrifuge to balance the ship, the oh, gravity tethers will pull us straight down to the colony. I'm heading in there now to see if I can fix it. Should I? No, I won't yet because I haven't used any of that. And um, no, I'll go on. I'll stick with this. I'm actually coming towards the end of it here. I've made it through here a little bit faster than I thought. Decontamination sequence activated. Because that's because I'm better rested and I'm not as inept as I have been of recent. I'm feeling a lot better. I think the, the frustration of what's been going on these last couple of days is the Oh, Ned. The whole thing with Eon, my energy provider, cannot wait to be rid of them. I am not pleased, not in the slightest. Come on, then. 
Oh, right, yeah, drop straight on the head. Sad. Epic. That's the other one. There he is. Stamp it to there, but it's a death. I'm actually going to go and upgrade capacity of my, um, yeah. Haha! <laughs> I pushed you through the wall! Nice! Another one? I don't remember they're doing great. Boomed. That should be all of them. Yep, there we go. Right, quickly run back. Decontamination sequence complete. Yes, I already knew Thank that. Thank you for your patience. Oh, it's no problem. It was fun. It was, uh, you know, just what I want to do with a uh, have a Friday morning after a rant about my. Energy provider. That's exactly what I want to do with my day. Aww. Um, well, I'm about to get another node. Oh, did I just give a spoiler? Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, I'm about to get another node anyway, so... Screw it. I know I like to keep one handy, but I've played through this off now to know... Oh, good thing I did come back this way. I Yes, I'm not infallible. I don't have perfect memory of everything. But, uh, yeah. There'll be another node up in a moment. As I said, I've played through this enough times now to know what uh, some of the more important things are. To know that um, I have enough time to get myself another node before I'm ready to open another door. Yes. The way we want to go is down there. First... Head around this. This this is the centrifuge. Not this specific section right here, but you can tell by the shape of it. It's centrifugal in nature, and that is actually centrifugal. It's a soft G, not like the hard G in Aspergic, for example. I've spoken about that before, though. I myself on Aspergic. Remember that. Like, one of these two does anyway. Yeah, um... Aspergic, I've spoken about that before. Aspergers. Something relevant. Especially relevant to me. And for anyone who doesn't know... Well, I'll tell you next time, but... Blank didn't go down here. And I'm not going to yet. I'm going to save there. But I'm going to give a quick... Dun 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 Exiting zero gravity. There's a little sneak peek for you. Now you noticed I didn't do the save that one, so I have the backup. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to save this one here to keep the other one as a backup. The reason I didn't do it is because it was the beginning of a chapter and I can't save at the beginning of the chapter. I'd have to save it a little while on, which means I'd done things and I'd have to comment about it. Instead, you get to listen to me rambling now, so... Anyway, I, I do... I am sorry for the aggression at the beginning of this video. It's just something I had to get out of my system. But uh, it's done now. Next one will be less aggressive. Thank you for watching.